you're like me and love a bargain, then you're going to love the link in the description as it's going to take you to Instant Gaming, which is a platform that will save you a lot of money on all of your games. This includes Steam, GOG, PlayStation and Xbox also, as well as many others. I've bought a couple of games from here and saved myself some money, you should too. The link is in the description, be sure to check it out. You'll actually be surprised just how much you will save. Not only will it be helping me out, but you'll be helping yourself out as well. Be sure to check it out, the link's in the description. Thank you. Welcome back everybody to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts in another Moist Tea Gaming video. If you watched us from last time, you will see that we cornered a chunk of the Spanish fleet and had a whale of a time thoroughly destroying all of them. In that battle we definitely saw the differences between the Washington and the Delaware class, which is the new and the old, but the old are now going to be needing to be retired. Ten years old, which doesn't sound much for a battleship, but they are awful and I don't want to keep using them anymore, so I'm going to get rid of them quite thoroughly. So I'm going to start making preparations for that. We also actually invaded Western Spain and have full control over that now, which is marvellous. So now we're still at war with Spain. We may end up doing a Northern Spain invasion. We'll see what happens with that. Might definitely come in handy. I definitely want to keep hold of that. They've got some good juicy ports down here. This does come with the danger, however, of actually prodding some of the major powers, which could actually severely hurt me. But we should get paid for it, so we'll see what happens. Germany is having a dabble at France. No, I don't know how this is going to happen, but we'll see. Oh wow, look at the losses. The losses have been extremely high. They've not advanced anywhere. I think that's just going to be a destruction between the two of them. But getting Western Spain is definitely going to be bringing in some extra income. Some little torpedo boats and things from the Spanish floating around. I don't care about that. Don't even think they've really got any ships left. Apart from the odd bit, I'm going to go for Mallorca. Because we are at war with Italy as well, it would be nice if we could get over here. One thing we do need to think about is how we're actually going to defend this. Thankfully we do not have a vast empire as such, we've only really got this going east. We've got a little bit of Africa. Do I bother with the Philippines? I don't know at this point because, well, we're going to be going to go war against France and Britain soon at this rate. So we'll see what we end up getting up to. It would be quite marvellous if we could get Northern Spain. If we were to do a naval invasion of it. Swing the ships around the other side. Hopefully they'll come in from the land as well. And we'll get Northern Spain as well. Don't know if that will eliminate them from the game. I've no idea. They've still got a couple of little territories floating around. But it isn't going to be very much. Might as well do this while France is currently very occupied. They also grabbed southern Spain, which is challenging. In terms of ships, we're building some more of these Cincinnati ones, whatever. <laughs> Somebody told me how to say that in the comments. I can't quite remember how it is now, but we're building them. These ones, and before you hate me, yes, I know, look at that turret, but don't look at it for too long. I accidentally misplaced that one, so we do have a port weight offset <laughs> a little bit, but we'll try and not look at that. I want a few of these mixed in with the Augusta class ships, which is this one. This is the one that we currently have floating around everywhere, being rather brilliant, I must say. These do have the option of replacing these with the Charleston, which is a light cruiser 2. Basically, uh, just a large upgrade over it. But we'll see, this has more gunnage in general. 
well, the fatter guns at least, anyway, but the ship hull itself is not as survivable. Whereas the Suniti is more of an armoured ship, so can take more punishment and is a better shooting platform. Only problem is, we don't really have many big guns on it, so we're going to do a bit of an experiment. It does have the better masts on there and things, so we should be able to shoot the enemy with a much higher degree of accuracy. So these two guns might do a lot more damage than what we think, so time will tell. We're building these as we replace, uh, just to replace a few losses at the moment. We're going to take it from there. I'm going to actually move our ships around. The old battleships, I am going to, uh, let's just see what, are they all ammoed up? Are there any damage? I don't think so, which is good. I'm sure we had combat in one of these, but I could be wrong. No, they're all happy. We're going to move these over to the north of Spain, like that. Bigger port will hold the invasion, so it's La Coronilla, not La Cornelia, I think. We'll go over there, move all our ships over, but those older battleships are actually going to get gone home. Now, that will prove that we've got two more light cruisers here available what i'm gonna do is because we're gonna need to defend a bit of something like this could even actually send them over to mallorca to do some raiding because the italians are over here as well which we could potentially do so i might do that stick them in the western mediterranean now the fleets there's no italian fleets here they've got some Oh, uh, they've got a juicy fleet here. Maybe I want to send them off. Those Augusta class ships aren't the fastest. We are yet to face any of the Italian ships, so we don't know how they're built. If they're built for speed, we will be in trouble there, so I'm not willing to risk two of my light cruisers for that. I may just hang them back for the time being. Stopping France from actually getting some of these territories is good because I don't want them getting too powerful. Definitely not. Fleet wise, tonnage, we've got, well, 325,000. They've got around half that, but if you look at Britain, they've neither got double what we've got, and we can't go to war with one without the other, so we just need to stop them. I'm doing silly things. We don't want to go to war with Germany or China. We need to keep trying to get friendly with them to a degree. We did Germany last time, but we're going to continually keep trying to improve our relations with these two countries. Just because if we go to war with them, we'll end up being dragged into war with Germany and such. We don't. We're not going to get anything from it, so there's no point. Might as well let them fight France and blow each other up for a bit. Research-wise, we're slowly getting there on the weight of cruisers. New armor quality is coming in, which is marvelous. Not bothered about submarines for the time being. Another one which is here. Mine detonators. No, I don't care enough. What I would like is some more longer range torpedoes now the three bladed contra rotating propellers they were quite nice actually we've got the extra range on them i would like a little bit more though being able to do dual turrets on the six inch gun would be really nice as well we're not going to get that in gun layout that's some anti-flash we don't think we're going to really need that we had a couple blow up in our face but don't think that was due to that. We haven't got any armor really on the uh, list. It's, it's one of them. There is a risk. We've reduced it as much as we can, but it is what it is. This is the old battleship design. These are the ones that I'm going to mothball and see if another country wants them for whatever reason. Very old, can't hit anything, and filled with two... <laughs> two inch cannons on them which is great for squirting everywhere but the accuracy on them is so low they might as well just be that was just pointless really as you can see the Washington is a much superior ship even though this does have its flaws 
It is much better than the other one. Those who didn't see it, the Reno, which is this one, is potentially a mining-only ship. Extremely cheap. Extremely cheap. Not built for combat, made for running away. So if the enemy get somewhere near, then hopefully we can do something about that. But somebody did comment, actually, because these ships will get pulled into random encounters. And we don't really want that. We don't want them patrolling around trying to control an area. We just want them mine laying. Is there a way just to keep them mine laying and not going after any potential transports or anything else? We don't even have a gun at the front of it. We don't want that at all. If anybody knows, let me know. For now, we're not going to be building any. There is also the option to swap out some Augusta class ships to them. Well, upgraded with some mine laying capability. We had a look at building a destroyer. But that was so expensive, I might as well have had another Augusta class ship. Which, in my eyes, is better than a more modern destroyer. At least at the moment. So let's see what kind of mischief we can create. To see about invading northern Spain. Oh nice, it did it on its own. United States initiates a major offensive from province western Spain against northern Spain. Nice, we've done that on our own. We've got three quarters of a million troops here. And the arm, the, <laughs> the Spanish really don't. They're outnumbered 7 to 1. That is not going to go down very well for them. Got just a couple of enemy ships floating around here. Those two light cruisers which I've pulled off from those mothballing battleships are actually going to potentially get used. If I stick them in the Caribbean, for example, because we've taken Cuba, they're going to be on defense duty for a while. We're going to start a naval invasion as well. It shouldn't interfere with the normal one. Let's have a look. We'll see. We'll see if it interferes. Hopefully it won't. It should just speed up the offensive. Those losses are staggering. We are definitely going to be pushing through. Right here. Oh, ah, yeah. Right. So that works. That is excellent. We can do a naval invasion at the same time. Here's a research that I would like. Armor piercing cap shell. Yes, please. That will mean all of our guns can all of a sudden go through many things. I do want to have as well. I need the, the capped HE shell as well. I noticed against some of the lighter ships, our shells went straight through it. I'm thinking if there was a bit more explosive in there, then it won't go straight through. It'll go into it and then go bang. So that's what I'm going to fiddle with once I've got some more guns on the go. Once we are not at war anymore as well, I am going to consider updating the Washingtons. Germany's advance into France isn't going well. For some reason, France is insistent on going for Algeria at the same time, for whatever reason. Despite there being a major reduction in army force available because of the war with Germany, they're having a proper go at Togoland and everything else. East streets between Spain. Now we'll fight to the end, thank you. And we've just unlocked more improved armor. Look at that, armor strength plus 50% and the weight is reduced also. Excellent. Interesting news. France pushed back German Empire's offensive in province northern France. Mm. Lots of people have died there. Look at the state of that. This is before the Great War time, remember? Those two old battleships I am now actually going to set the crew to nothing and they will be classed as mothballed hopefully somebody will buy them i'm gonna keep pushing the cruiser design because then we can get bigger and bigger cruisers which is quite ideal and we're gonna have a dabble at the torpedo propulsion don't have any others on the go right now so i'm gonna 
See if we can push a little bit ahead on them. Fleet from the previous battle is now repairing as well. That is wonderful. They'll be ready to go again soon. Ah, oh, here we go. Greece would like to buy one of the ships. We're going to get some of our money back, but sure, we're not going to want it anymore. Please have it. And another one. Brazil wants to buy one as well. Excellent. Germany is having another dabble at trying to take northern France. Bit risky, if you're asking me. So they're still at war with them over here. They're trying to invade as well. Not too sure who's going to come out on top of this one. Our invasion of Spain is going rather well. We have nearly a million troops there now. We are gradually getting in, but absolutely superbly smashing them. Oh, nice. Look at that. 100,000 ton heavy cruiser now. Nice. That's actually getting somewhere. We just need the light cruiser one now as well. Oh, excellent. Oh, hang on. Northern Spain changed hands while it was attacked from many sides. The offensive had to stop. Yes, yeah, so we've got it. Nice. Ooh, look at this. Dominica Republic, wherever that is. I think that's near Central America area. We can go for an evil invasion. Nice. And guess what? We're at war still. They have changed the game some degree oh here okay so we need 15,000 tons worth of ship there how much is that not enough that's around six we need one of our fleets to come back essentially well that's okay because we're gonna have not this fleet they've already got a couple of the uh, new light cruisers in do these now they don't. So we're going to have a couple of our new light cruisers appearing soon so we can get our oh, estimated... Oh, wow, we're not going to get there in time. How long is that going to take? What about over here? Yeah, that's a little bit concerning. How are we going to get there in time? Another option is to stick some crew on the old battleships that I've got up here currently mothballed. Yeah, going to do that. They'll get there much quicker. They'll get there in two days. We can send these ships over as well, like that. Excellent. Look at that. Spain is well and truly done. There's nothing left. That is not nice for them. Technology very behind now. That's because they've had no money. China is very behind as well. Oh, we've... Oh, no. Britain, very advanced. That ain't good. Kind of need to stop that from happening. But we can now also proceed. Potentially take Mallorca, maybe? Would be good to have a dabble at the Italians. Let's get some of our fleets over to the Italian side of things. Over here, the Balearic Islands. Let's go, if it lets me. Oh, because they've got one ship there, we can't move. Are you mad? Right, well, let's just go straight to that then. Get the other one down here also. They keep trying to be friendly with us, but it ain't going to happen. And now we're technically blocking <laughs> Bane. There's nothing left of them. I actually would go to peace with them now. There's an Italian fleet there. Let's see if we can prod it. No, wrong one. Not with that fleet. I want the other fleet in. These ones have the new cruiser in, I think. Oh, not that one. It must be the other one. Somewhere. Now, this is where it would be good just to have a few cruisers floating around to help defend the ports as well. For example, this one torpedo boat could potentially cause lots of sinkage. That ain't great. I mean, it's probably not going to be able to go anywhere because it doesn't have any supply available to it. But, still, it's, we're going to need some protection. Money is a minor thing right now. I mean, naval funds are through the roof, but I want to keep a healthy balance. I'm neither done building this extra super-duper shipyard. Might even go for some 
hull strengthening. Just to see if we can get another battleship hull out the window. Ooh, here's a good one. Rackets. Racketing salvo. Yeah, let's get that. We need accuracy. Change our methods to that. Ooh, some good texts actually are coming out. That is a good one. 100% communication range, reconnaissance, and everything else. More bombardment, so naval invasions will be more successful. Yeah, we'll sub the torpedoes off for the time being. We'll get that communications. We'll sort off the cruiser design as well for the time being and get that naval warfare in. And that control station. What I may do, if possible, is if I can get a bit of a foothold in... Well, I've already got a foothold, but... Go to war with Britain and France, but with the help of the Germans. Now, that sounds like a plan. That way, I could potentially eliminate Britain. As awful as that sounds, being a British man myself, I do want to conquer them. They have many things floating around, and it would be good if I owned them. While they have a large empire, I don't want to have lots of little bits of it. That's just rubbish. If anything, it keeps them occupied. Because look at all these ships that they've got just floating around everywhere. That is the weakness of having such a vast... I mean, they've just got a battleship floating around on its own over there. You could easily take that out. There's nothing fat floating anywhere. So you could really just do them in a bit. As long as you had a few bits floating around to defend your location, you could really go for a naval invasion. Now, doesn't that sound juicy? You could go for, let's say, which one's going to be easier? Eastern England, really? Northwest? Or Northeast? Oh, Northwest is good. That would appear to be the easiest one to go for. There's also oil production here as well, which should slow them down a bit. Going for the mainland is probably going to be the best option. So then we can go for it properly. First of all, let's see what the Italians are up to. Just had a thing where we get more money, which is rather excellent. This means, of course, we can start building more ships. Now, we did just get a couple wherever they are. They're all in San Francisco. Let's have a look. Oh, no, that's just the other fleet. They're all happy. Get them back out again just so that they can do training and things that they like to do. Oh, here we go. They're in Norfolk. Four of them, the newer design on the armored cruiser could just send these over here and meet up Let's see what happens oh they're still commissioning where they go yeah they are getting shipped over we'll get these in combat some more i do want eight more of them might start building them now that'll be four for each fleet and then once we do a refit, we can fix that awful turret placement that I did. Eight more of them. Yes, please. We'll stick four on the other side as well, on the west coast. They're going to be done in around a year. The Augustas that we get back from this, we're going to have them on defense mode, just floating around. We're going to have to upgrade them to mining capabilities. Because those ones I'm going to get swapped out with the new cruiser that we did. Not just the Cine whatever that is. But the light cruiser too. Don't have any of them yet, but they have a vast upgrade. More of a direct descendant from the Augusta. There is the Italian fleet. Let's have a dabble. We want ideally the fleet with the newer things in it. They don't appear to be here. It would appear to be this lot. Yes, it is. We can get them all in there. Off you go. Blap. Let's see if we can get a naval invasion going of the Balearic Islands while we're at it. Spain, where are you? And we can. That is lovely. 
Why not? I mean, that will leave Spain with nothing over here, so it'll be reduced to the Philippines. Ha! They can go and annoy China and things for a bit. They'll probably get invaded by Japan, probably. All these ships over here, they're just going to have no supply when we take that. That really takes them out the fire. And if they do ever decide to have a damn bull on our west coast, um, there's not going to be that much of them left to put up a proper fight, by which time we'll probably end up doing an invasion of them, because we'll have the capacity and the means to do so. Right now we can't, simply because the range is not good enough on the ships. Now, do I want the Philippines? Yes. Do I want them right now? No. No, not that we've got this foothold in Spain. We can really utilize this and properly push into Europe itself. Because we have been at war technically for so long, I think that's affected the army logistics. If you have a look, we're at 48%. Whereas, say, France and Ger oh, Germany is quite high. Oh, wow, France is quite high. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. How's that coming along anyway? Oh, it's getting nowhere for the time being. Spanish are going to go through another and morality, man. They only just got rid of one once we invaded the northern Spain. The shipyard is built, so let's go for even more. Let's go for a full-on extra blap. It's an extra 10,000 tons. The biggest ship that we have is not even near that. We're at 16,000, so the next battleships could potentially be enormous. Some of these ships have huge defects. That one's overweight by 9%. I want to overweight a little bit, but that... Oh, that's disgusting. It'll go down like a ton of bricks. I'm going to keep chasing around this Italian fleet, see if we can really provoke them. While we casually invade the Baloric Islands. That's just a bit cruel, but we have cornered an enemy task force somehow. <laughs> One torpedo boat see what ships end up being in this. I think they're all Augustas. Rather nasty. It could have just auto-resolved this, but, I mean, why not? The straight ahead. Gonna have four on screen, four on scout. The battleship's just roaming up, and they are supposedly east, so we'll go full pelt at them. They are quite a nice looking boat, especially compared to the other one. It's not really that sleek or anything, but the start difference in the older design is, honestly, so much better. When I do improvements to this, there's been quite a few improvements. When I do a refit torpedo size, that all needs to be increased, because we've got some juicy ones now. The smaller ones aren't seeming to blow the ships out of the water as much as what I want, so I do want some bigger ones on there we want the range and there's a bit of your updates in the game so it's tweaked it's like so we'll have to have a further dabble i want to see if we can get more guns on here maybe change the armor on them that should save more weight fully inspect the other bits that we have on there bits of technology i don't think there's going to be a flash fire in these things but we could potentially stick the barbette 2 on there a few other bits looking at these things these are the augustas we can't really update them because these have the older guns on which cannot be replaced or keep the old ones on for example when you go to refit the ship you still have to replace all the guns with the new model which is quite infuriating but it is what it is i suppose we do have a replacement ship for them now so we'll see what we can do with it these are going to be retired to coastal defense once the new ones comes in. But they have proven to be a very worthy ship, still very much battle worthy. The newer ships will just have more survivability and be more lethal and even faster. We don't have the other ship available in this fleet. This is the other one. Otherwise, we'd show that to you. It'll be the first time we've seen them on the open water. All our ships are being doing funny things, but that's because they've just been told to do funny things, scouting and screening and things, so we'll see what happens with them. But yes, 
Yeah, the enemy sh ships are going to get away, but it doesn't matter. Just wanted to really see what is going to go on with this. Some of these are on screening. Some of these are on scout. Don't get too many opportunities to play with this. Now, these are looking like they're all a bit scouty. Not entirely sure what they're doing. So that's all of them. They're on scout. That's all they seem to be doing. Interesting. Maybe I should stick more in screening. Now, if I was to stick them all in screening now, we'll do the thing, but they will they fill in the holes, for example, maybe? It does appear so. They're just racing to get there, but they do do a loop around. Hmm. We'll have to see. I may end up using this at some point. I've done it before, but <laughs> you have to do things that you don't necessarily want them to do. So we'll uh, play with this at some point, see how much it has improved. Now here is a proper barrel. We have intercepted the Span... No, not Spanish. I'm too used to saying that now. The Italian fleet. This is the first time we would have encountered them. Looking at them, the CAs are quite slow. They're about the same as our battleships, which is interesting. But they do have 8.3 gun on there. So that is a juicy gun. Not fantastic. They're not as well trained. Their bulkheads are standard. What else can we see from here? They all appear to be the same class. CL, they have lots of torpedoes. That's quite worrisome. They have 5.1 or 5.3 inch gun. That is interesting. But they have 12 4.3 inch gun. Now, 12.5, that is the optimum speed for an armored cruiser. Is that what they are? That'll be interesting if that's the case. And their torpedo boats, flimsy things with oh, maximum bulkheads, but they've got two torpedoes. And they've got a 4.3 inch gun. They've got quite gun heavy, haven't they, really? So we'll uh, have to have a see. So hopefully we should do some real smashing. Those heavy cruisers are going to be a threat to the Augustas. A couple of good shots in and they could cripple our ships quite easily. I'm going to get the ships into position, turn everything onto save. Because we don't want to shoot unless we've got a good chance of hitting them. I've just remembered the Washingtons don't actually have any torpedoes, so that's something I've completely forgot about. Must have run out of weight. Hopefully when we do a refit, that won't be the problem anymore. This isn't the fleet that had the armoured cruisers in it, so that's a little bit annoying. Wanted to see them in combat, we haven't yet. We'll just get these sorted, the enemy are the north east. So we'll get the light cruisers on this side with the battleships here. We'll get in there now. They're a little bit behind, but they'll catch up. A little bit surprised that I can't see them yet. They may be running away. We might have to send a couple of these light cruisers to investigate that. On full speed and see what happens. We'll put them on line abreast and charge forward. We're going to have these ones. We may even just put these on screening of them for a bit. They don't appear to be gaining. A little bit concerning. Confirmation they are running away. Smoke is now to the north. Let's see if we can catch them. No, I don't think we can. I'm not chasing after them all day. The battleships won't actually gain. The light cruisers will, but I don't fancy their chances against them on their own. We're going to end this battle. Hopefully we can engage them with the other light cruisers. We're doing the conquest now of the Dominion Republic. Got enough ships here. That seems to be going rather well. Still also going for the Balearic Islands. One more turn should do it. Germans are still invading northern France. Who's going to win that? I don't know. Doesn't like anybody's winning right now. The British are also here, which is interesting. 
That's the Italian fleet. We're going to see if we can intercept them. Ooh, nation France has signed peace with the German Empire. War preparations can be given to all members of the winning alliance. So what would that be? We'll have to investigate that next time. But here we go again. Do we have our new ships in here? All Augustas. Hard to say. Oh, we do. They they got 12. Sorry, 20.5. So we could actually get them here and see what happens. Here we go again. Look at them. They're the new duty ones. Much more armoured, much more resistant to fire. We'll get them in some kind of coordinated doodah. Right, so I have the newer ones in a do and the other ones in another do. We'll get the newer ones in the prominent position. Yeah, the battleship's just going straight forward. The enemy are straight to the south. So if we get our cruisers on this side, everything should be happy. They are quite pretty. Do wonder how these guns are going to work. Wondering how accurate they're going to be. That should be good. How much punishment can they take? All these answers need... Sorry, questions need an answer. Hopefully we'll find out in this battle. The enemy are again running away. Very disappointing. Don't know why they're doing this. But it is quite irritating. I suppose this would be one of the good things about having the other light cruiser because that goes 23.5 knots which is faster by three knots on the armored cruiser which is in here now and two knots faster than the Augusta class but this would be a prime example of why you want them in but then again do you want to engage it's difficult really you want the whole strength of the whole fleet i want them to come at me no combat for us today that seems to be the case however tilly has just had part of it gone captured by the british we have just done a successful two successful invasions of various bits We've grabbed the Demonic Republic. Nice. That was a minor nation. Neutral. And we grabbed it during war. Hmm. Because the Italians keep running away, I'm thinking about Sardinia. Or do we go for Sicily? That's a good question. Because won't that be connected by a bridge? And we can just run over there, maybe. Maybe not, it's hard to say. It'll give us more supply in the area though, that is for sure. The Austria-Hungary Empire is really having a go at Serbia right now. The Germans are continuously trying to get into northern France. The losses are staggering. If they keep going at that rate, then they're not going to have any men left. We don't want the Germans to lose. They've got a load of ships which can threaten Britain. Now, Britain has a oh, wow, stupid amount of ships now. What is going on? That is extreme. They've got so many. That ain't good. Germany doesn't stand a chance if that happens. Russia is buddy-buddy with Britain and us and France and things. They have a load of ships as well. It's just not looking too great, really. We can't take them all out. See, they're all friendly with each other. That is the problem. Even Japan. We're going to have to find a way to get around this. We'll go for a naval invasion of Italy anyway. We'll go for Sardinia. And get one step closer to them. Hopefully we can get that fleet to engage. We'll move our fleet over to... Kagrilari. Uh, 
Wasn't that used to be friend? I'm trying to think of the way to say it. I'm not going to murder it. Move these ships over there. That would be wonderful. These ships over here. We've got two Augusta classes. I'm going to move these over here. See if we can actually start prodding Columbia, potentially. Because that seems to be how that one happened. When he had a few ships over there. So we'll get all of these together. Including the old battleships. And we'll stick them all by the coast of Columbia. Now I know I've tried this before and it didn't work. But there's been a few updates since. And Columbia are at war with us technically. Because the best buddies with Italy. But we'll see. I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you very much for tuning in we've invaded quite a few different blocks now let me know your thoughts in the comments i hope to see you in the discord and i will see you in the next one thank you very much for watching bye bye